So to transform this table into a data list is what I'm going to be doing, first of all. Then in place of every row, I will going to use a division. Yep. So for now we are only transforming table into a table less and we're going to make it appear like a table. So all the tables have been transformed into DL and this is one of the many ways of doing it. Of course you can use any element which can be nested inside another element. And instead of TH, what I was going to be using, if you may remember, your DL, which is a data list, can have a DT and a DD as two elements. So I can use DT for my first cell and I can use DD for the other cells. So if I want to give anything specific to my ID a little bit different than the others, I can certainly do that. So that's exactly the same format I'm going to follow across the board. Your current output without any CSS will not going to have any good look and feel. But as we transform using CSS, you will be able to see that we that makes a lot of difference. So every time the loop runs, we generate one division. What is a division? A division is something that appears on a line of its own and does not share that line with anybody else. So it is unlike paragraph, does not leave any extra space before and after. It only occupies one line. Right now, if you just simply look at this code, the way it has been coded, you're going to notice that since DTs automatically apply a line break, Therefore, all the DDs are on a new line. And DT, DD, and DT, they both apply a line break. So you can see they all appear in a new line. That's the default HTML of the video. They're all indented. All the DTs are not indented, and all the DDs are indented. But we will going to use CSS to override this default behavior of HTML and replace it with the CSS behavior. So we will go to now trans transform this DL into display table. Each one of the divs will going to turn into table row and each of the DT and DD will turn into table cell. So those are three different display properties that we're going to be using next. So let's scroll up in the style section and we're now going to say that I want my DL which is the main container to actually be display table. I want to use border collapse to collapse exactly the same way I did with tables. And I want the width to be 600 pixels like our last table was. Then inside the DL, I want each of the divisions to be treated as table row. And I want each of my DTs and DDs to have a display of table cell. So my DT and DD have a display of table cell. I can certainly now give each of my DT and DD a border of let's say one pixel solid black. Vertical align top. And padding of let's say five pixels. So now when I run it, notice you can't even tell the difference that it's not table. 